Dr. Wolski, let's talk a little bit about lower back pain, maybe sciatic pain and stuff, um, you know, which might not have, might, might have come from, from an accident, it might not have come from an accident, uh, but there it is, and apparently devastating people's life. Is there hope for them? Uh, sure, we can, uh, uh, at our office, we, we have a lot of people that have long-lasting pain. Uh, it could be from an, uh, an accident at work or a car wreck. Uh, it could be from uh, arthritis. Uh, and what we do is uh, we can uh, treat them with medication. Uh, we can treat them with uh, steroid injections. We can do physical therapy. We can do... Um, chiropractic treatment. We're, we have a multidisciplinary clinic where we have MDs and chiropractors. We can also, uh, a lot of chronic pain uh, uh, involves a, a, a psychological component because chronic pain makes people depressed. A lot of these people can't work because of their chronic pain and that makes them depressed and anxious. So we have psychologists and counselors, uh, licensed counselors. We have vocational counselors. We also have a uh, chronic pain program for people with uh, long-lasting back pain. And this is like a multidisciplinary approach. Uh, they have counseling. They have th therapy. They have vocational planning. And uh, and that we, we basically have uh, the full complement of professionals to help them. Wow. So basically, they can get, you know, what does it take on an average, uh, you know, a person with, let's just say, sciatic pain, as I mentioned, um, how long does it usually take to get rid of that? Uh, and, and is it really, can a person ever get completely rid of it, or is it just getting better? Well, it can, it can get, it depends on the person. You can get better in, in a couple of weeks, or it might be a lifetime thing. Uh, what happened to me in, you know, when I was in med school, I uh, was playing basketball uh, and uh, I herniated a disc and it paralyzed my leg. And I got better with physical therapy, but this is like 30 years later and I still have numbness and pain in my leg every once in a while, especially when I lift something I shouldn't be lifting or, or do a sport I shouldn't be doing. I see. Okay, but uh, all right, good. Uh, I, I appreciate that. So that's what it is. And we don't really know that before. Uh, but have you seen that that there are obviously ways out there to help a person who did have, let's just say, a year, two or three uh, cruciating pain, uh, that he at least gets to a level where he can function again? Is that, would you say, a, a 5% chance or is it more like up there in the 60, 80, 90% chance with the right treatment, the treatment or, or apparently the right treatment, the type of treatment you uh, provide in your practice? Uh, if, if someone's been uh, seriously injured and they've been off work for a long time, we can, uh, uh, our program uh, has a, approximately a 91% uh, success rate in getting them, them stronger and getting patients in a condition to go back to work. Yeah? We've had people... They've been off work for 15 years, and they were able to get a job after our chronic pain management program. Wow. Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's, of course, impressive. And again, those people probably underwent a whole one of your 28-day uh, type of program uh, intensive and uh, get everything uh, looked at, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, wonderful. Thanks a lot. Very informative.